everybody asks the question, what is my chance of success? And I think that we have to define success rates differently than we ever have in the past. In the past, when we talk about in vitro success rates, it's how many patients go to egg retrieval, putting back a fresh embryo transfer, and getting a positive pregnancy test. These days, we're retrieving the eggs, fertilizing them, biopsying them, and freezing them. And ultimately, we're only performing embryo transfers when we have a healthy embryo. So success rate these days is really defined as how many times a woman has to go to egg retrieval in order to find that single healthy embryo. For a patient that maybe wants more than one child and wants to complete her family with two or three children, then success is putting away as many healthy embryos as we need to ensure the chance or increase the chance that she's going to ultimately achieve her goals. So success rate is related to how good a woman's eggs are, and the egg quality is ultimately related to her age. So if a woman is 20 or 30, she will hopefully achieve that normal embryo in the first one or two cycles. And if a woman is in her 40s, she may need even more egg retrievals. But ultimately, the chance of success is related to the chance that a woman is going to have a healthy egg and a healthy embryo and therefore a healthy baby.